This segment is about migrating from other documents into your new ICANN Word template. So there are some very specific things to keep in mind when doing this. So I'm going to take an actual document with um, list numbers and headings and tables, etc., and just show you how it will perform for you. So I'm just going to take all of these pages being very careful to make sure that there are no section breaks. Section breaks should never be copied into your ICANN document. So we're just going to copy all of that. And in this case, we are just going to do a basic paste. So we'll see that it is just doing a normal paste. Now, when we bring this over, you will see that it doesn't look as you would expect. And there is a reason for that. If we look here, Well, this should just be removed, so we'll just cut that out. But here we want to start with company goals. So the company goals is coming in as a heading level two, which may be fine. But if you don't want your heading level two to have numbers or you want it to be another heading level, then we can do that. So for example here, if we want to select all of the heading twos, and do it all at once, we can do that by selecting all. So come down to heading to select all instances. And we may instead want all of these to be a um, heading level one without numbering. So we'll do that. Now, these items here are heading level fours. So if we were to come here, these are heading level twos. These are all heading level fours. Well, it's fine in this document. It looks the way we want. But here, obviously, heading level four is not appropriate for our needs. So we can select all 24 instances of the heading level four. And then what we can do is apply whatever formatting we may want. So for example, we may want all of that to be left paragraph text. Well, our table's looking better already, isn't it? So now we can go through and the ones that weren't caught through this process, which they aren't always. So you just come through and you just select again, holding down your control key to make sure that you have selected all that you need to select. And then you would apply your left paragraph formatting. Oh, again here. So this is another one. I believe we have them all now. And then you may notice that in these areas, we also have some odd formatting. So under company goals here, we have the top five and then we have this. This is a list number. Well, we don't want to use list numbers. List numbers are no good. Um, so we do have list number here, but we don't want to utilize list numbers here. So we want to select all instances of list numbers and we can make those all left aligned. Now, a quick trick that I have learned when it comes to this is that you may want to even select all of your tables here and just apply left formatting. That may be preferable for you. It may not. So I chose a complicated document to migrate over to show you some of the issues that you may experience. Other things that you may experience are areas like this, where it goes one through five and then it goes to six, but this is a new table. You would probably want that to restart at one. You can easily do that. Just place your cursor in each instance, restart at one, restart at one, and do it that way. So because we have heading levels one through four, we have a list number here which isn't showing as a list number. Then we have the list numbers here, which are showing. This is a more complex table and something that would require some additional thought. So that is why I wanted to showcase something such as this. Now here we have normal, and then this will come over as normal. 
So I know that we're not supposed to use normal, but normal is the default for Microsoft. So your normal and your left paragraph have 100% identical properties. The only difference is the name. So if something comes in as normal and it is supposed to be left paragraph, it will cause no issues whatsoever. So you don't need to worry about that. But you will see that it will automatically switch over and then again with tables. Tables are something else that you may need to modify. So you may need to select this table and you may decide that you want to have this table in all of them. Then you can just come here and you'll just need to do that manually on each one. And I apologize, there is no shortcut for it, but there is no shortcut for it. So that is just something that you'll need to do and you'll just need to apply that as needed. The other thing that you may opt to do is have one table that is preset up. And once that table is preset up, you can just select any information that you want to bring in. So for example, if you wanna take this information, copy it, this would be a good candidate for placing unformatted text. So now you don't have to go through all of the trouble of changing each table individually, removing list number to normal text. You just bring in one of these blank tables, duplicate it as many times as needed. So for example, if you wanted to use this structure multiple times, no problem, just come over here, select all this, left paragraph, paste, leave a hard return in between, paste, hard return in between, paste, and then you just copy your information. So you can just copy this text, paste unformatted, and off you go. And you can even have these pre-numbered if you choose to. So you can have all of that done for you, but that way when you copy information, you're just copying, right click, paste unformatted, and it will make your job much easier. So that would be a situation where it would be optimal to use unformatted versus having to reapply formatting. So at this point we have gone over the format switching and how you take one style and it will automatically switch to the equivalent style. Now, not in all cases is that what the intent is. So here we have, for example, a heading level four here, but you really don't want a heading level four for your table title. In this situation, it's how it was designed, but it is not how it is designed for your document. So it would not be compatible to have that approach. The table styles are different. You may want to predefine a table and then just duplicate the table and then bring your text in unformatted. That could be the path of least resistance. It really is a case by case. So I wanted to go over some variable options so you can determine what would be best for your needs. Um, another thing, if you are copying information from a complex document, what I recommend doing and what I frequently do myself is I will just do file, new, pull up a template, a document based on the template. Just remove this stuff, not a problem. Just get it out of there. And then what I will do is I will copy the information from the source file, paste it into here, get the formatting just the way I want, stripping styles, placing new styles. Then when it's the way I want it, I will copy it and paste it into my active document. That way you don't have to worry about formatting, disrupting anything else. You get it nice and clean, you place it in a clean document, and that can take a lot of stress out of the process, particularly if you're near the home stretch and you have to bring in some information, you're concerned about an outline that might conflict, et cetera. That is the way that I always do it. It takes very little extra time and in many in many cases, it's easier in the long run simply because you are working in small segments, getting it perfect, then migrating it over. 
So then you don't have that stress, you don't have all of those issues that could otherwise come into play. So that would go over the issues with copying from an existing template, when to use the source formatting or destination formatting is what we are going to go over right now. So there are certain situations, just as in with the PowerPoint, where you do want to keep the source formatting. There's valid reasons for it. So say, for example, this is something that is part of another client's work and it would be disrespectful to override their formatting with yours, for example, if it were a joint submission. So in that case, you would copy the information and you would choose keep source formatting. Well, you can see that the keep source formatting will not work because the document is um, locked. You can use the destination theme um, or you can merge the formatting. So in that case, the only way that you could paste would be if you unlocked your template. Keep in mind, if you unlock your template, you could be dealing with larger problems. So use this option very sparingly. Oops, sorry, it was already unlocked. So if we wanted to do that here, we could copy and we can keep source formatting. Now, if we keep source formatting, we may have issues with additional styles. Um, and we do here. So you'll see that we do have extraneous items. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The uh, font has changed here because we have those conflicts. And that appears to be it, but that's significant enough. So that right there shows you what can go wrong when you do that. So in a situation like that, it may even be better to copy your information as an image. So if you wanted to perhaps export this out as a ping or a JPEG or crop a PDF and drop it in or copy it and um, paste it as a picture. So these are different options that you could do. They don't always look that great, but they are viable options if you needed to. What I personally do is I would just um, select my snipping tool, crop it, copy it, and paste it if I needed to do that. And then you can, of course, size it to within your margins. So that typically is a safer approach. And if you want to make sure that your grids and such are not showing, you can even do it in print preview mode. So another way to work with it. So if you were to come over here and then do your print preview, and then with the print preview, it would allow you to select your your item here, copy it, bring it over to this document. And then if we were to paste it, it looks like the original. So that is another viable option, but please do be very careful when you're bringing in from one document to another. And again, only unlock if it is absolutely necessary because you need to keep in mind that you will not only be compromising your document, but if this is a donor document and you are sharing it with other people, then you could um, contribute to the corruption of not only this document, but every document that uses any of this information for years to come. So it is rather impactful decision to unlock. So please do it extremely sparingly. Um, another thing that can sometimes be an issue is if you need to 
take information and um, from a website. So that is another area that I want to go over. But first thing I'm going to do is I am going to relock the document for protection. And now we are just going to open up a website. So we'll open up the ICANN website and we will just grab some, some random information here. So it doesn't really matter what we grab. I just wanted to grab something and now we will paste it. So when we paste it, we'll see that we do get some styles here. And that is because websites also go in a hierarchy. So for example, the news is considered a heading level one. This is considered a heading level two. This would be considered normal text. This is considered normal web, etc. So what you might want to just go in and do is get rid of anything that you don't need and you may even want to clear it out. So if you didn't want any pictures, for example, you could just uh, bring it in as unformatted. If you want to get rid of all of this formatting that is really not what you want, you can simply clear and then you can apply your left paragraph. And then from there, you can apply whatever formatting you actually need. So if you wanted these to be your heading level one without numbering, simply apply heading level one without numbering. And you can just continue through that for whatever else you may need. You may want this to be normal text. You may want this to be centered you would just choose center paragraph. And that's all that you would need to do throughout the information that is copied and pasted in. Conversely, you may want to bring it all in as plain text from the beginning. And that is certainly acceptable too. So you would simply do control C, then come back over to your Word document, and then you would right click and paste keep text only. And then in that instance, you will not be bringing in any images at all. But if you wanted to bring in images, you could bring them in separately. So for example, just right click copy image. And paste. I'm only showing you these different options because there is no one option that is right for all situations. And I know that um, migrating from other documents is by far the most time consuming part of any formatting project. So that's why I spent um, extra time going over the migration, um, whether it be with websites, with charts, graphs, um, no matter what it is, it is very important that you have the ability to, um, to understand all the various options that are available to you. Um, another thing, this would be another example, if we were to copy something such as this. So we'll just copy that in and we will paste it in to our locked template. We will simply paste. Now you'll see that it does have the normal style, which is fine. We can go and clear the formatting if we choose to. We can apply the left formatting, but you'll see that left formatting and normal are identical. Um, and then you'll probably remember that another thing that we went over was how you can auto fit. So we can auto fit to the window and then it brings everything in to the actual margins. Completion date, we may only need a date for this. If we own, oops, excuse me. If we only need a date, great. We can just select this and then we can tighten this up. So we have more room for the other information. Owner may not be very large either. So we can tighten that up and that leaves more room for the rest of our formatting. Now this would be a situation where you may want to briefly unlock your file. So if we unlocked, you would have the opportunity to select your table. And when your table is selected, you can go to layout and for height, you can just arrow down to zero and that will give you single spacing. 
and then you can just go up a bit more if you wanted it to go up a bit more and do it that way. So those are other things that you may or may not want to do, but it would allow you to, to tighten up your spacing, particularly, <coughs> excuse me, if it's a page limited document. Um, and then immediately go back and start enforcing again, just so that your document is protected. So that concludes the overview of how to work with um, migrating from other documents, locking, unlocking, and when to unlock. And please lock back up as soon as possible. Thank you.